Thank you, Charles, very much. It is a man I've talked to many times in the past, here and in Philadelphia. Ladies and gentlemen, our special guest, Mr. Eddie Hodges. <laughs> Eddie, how are you? Nice to have you here. Eddie, I don't know if anybody ever remembers, but I think one of the first times I ever met you, you told me a story about the time you appeared in The Music Man. Before I get to that, when did you first appear professionally? How old were you? I think I was about three. That means you've been a professional entertainer for 15 years. Right. He's an old-timer already, uh, having started at three. But that story in Philadelphia was about the time when you were in The Music Man, which I guess is the way things really got underway. What was it? I, yeah, all I remember is you ended up in Knickers. Right. Well, the show... Uh, as you know, it was 1912, uh, the period it was in. And uh, I, you know, after the show one night, I came down uh, to get dressed to the dressing room, and uh, I, c I couldn't find my pants. And uh, I was looking all over the place. I just couldn't find them. And uh, I'd asked other people if, if they'd seen anybody in my dressing room. I figured maybe somebody stole them as a joke. You know, we did wild things in the show, just, you know, like stealing other people's costumes and giving it to at the last minute. But... Uh, Nobody had uh, seen uh, anybody in my dressing room, so come to find out the uh, cleaning man had taken the wrong pants, mm. and... Uh, well, the end result was what? You went home? I and went what home. I went home in 1912 Knickers, and I was walking along the street. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not too long ago. Let me bring things up to date. Uh, I noticed your shoes. They look vaguely familiar. Where'd you get them? Well, these are from England. They're straight from Liverpool. <laughs> Were you there? No. A buddy of mine brought them over by ship, and... Uh, are they comfortable? Oh, very. Boy, are they comfortable. Well, I'm going to switch from clothes to acting. You've had a variety of experiences. What's the best piece of advice anybody ever gave you? I think that was when uh, I was in A Hole in the Head, the movie. Uh, Edward G. Robinson told me uh, when I was acting out a part in the show uh, to not try to act like anybody else and just try to be myself. What would I do? You use the same technique when you make records? I use... Uh, the same technique, I think, in everything I do. Uh, it was, uh, obviously, it was the best piece of advice anybody ever gave you. How long has this record been out? This is New Orleans. This is a redo of the old one, isn't it? Yes, it's been out about a week and a half, two weeks now. Yeah. Why'd you select this one to do? I don't know. I, I always wanted to do an old record that I just really went crazy about, and I just kind of dug out this old thing from my collection, and uh, it was New Orleans by Gary Bonds. Hey, Gary U.S. Bonds. Will you come back and perform it for us on a day when you have time? I certainly will. We'll see you then. Good. Thank you, Eddie, very much. Eddie Hodges, ladies and gentlemen.